now to Decision 2023. Voters in Kabul will decide on sales tax increase in November. Chris Bryant is in Kabul with more on the tax initiative and who it will benefit. If passed, the sales tax would be one half of 1%, and that additional funding would go to the police and fire departments here in Kabul. That amounts to 50 cents per $100 spent in the city of Kabul. Currently, the city estimates that it will come out to about $160,000 per year to be split between the police and fire departments. Over, over the years, our funding has always been from the city, and they, they've done a great job you know, funding us, but just like everything else, it, it's getting so expensive just to, just to maintain the police department. Kabul Assistant Police Chief Walter Darter says the Kabul Police Department is made up of eight full-time and one part-time police officers. For a city the size of Kabul, nearly two-thirds of its annual budget goes to salary and benefits for employees. So when it comes to a sales tax on the ballot, Darter says the city has an idea of how that money will be spent. The three, three things that we need is, is manpower or staffing, uh, retention, officer retention, equipment and training is on the fire or police department side. In the office next door, Fire Chief Brent Honeycutt says if passed, the funding would go to repairs and maintenance on fire equipment. The cost of equipment and, and being able to keep the trucks up has, has gone sky high. The Kabul Fire Department is made up of 20 volunteers. One thing Chief Honeycutt would like is to be able to staff the firehouse overnight. But having somebody here would make our response time quicker and have equipment fired up and ready waiting for the guys to get here. So it, it would be a big benefit. In the last couple of months, Chief Honeycutt has spent nearly $13,000 in medical supplies and bunker gear for his department. If the sales tax doesn't pass, Honeycutt is concerned about where the money will come from for training and repairs. Just the average to send five or six guys off to a training is several thousand dollars a trip. And we've got to keep up with that and, and keep the equipment safe to operate. You know, it's the stuff ages and every time it rolls out, it's put to hard use. And when it comes back, we, we fix something about every trip out. And for the police department, Darter is hopeful the community will step up once again. They always step up to the need. They understand the importance of, of police and fire, and they're, they've always been willing to uh, go the extra mile to help us out. The citizens I spoke with were all in favor of the increase. If you would like to read the ballot for yourself, we have a link to it under trending at the top of ky3.com. In Kabul, Chris Bryant, KY3 News.